Let me pause this. What's good, Gang? It's a girl, Double C, back on the scene with another freaking weekly vlog for you guys today. And in today's weekly vlog, we're actually not starting off on Monday. Today is Wednesday, babes. So you guys are going to be hanging with me from Wednesday to, like, Saturday. So we're going to see what... I got going on this week. Monday and Tuesday were two like pretty off days for me. Tuesday I filmed the chit chat get ready with me for you guys. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I did a whole life update of a chit chat get ready with me of everything, all the tea that's been going on in my life. So if you want to find out all the tea, babes, go watch it if you haven't already. Period. I will have it linked down below in the description box and it'll be popping up somewhere right here on the screen. But today is Wednesday. The time right now. Is currently 2 15 I am currently about to go to the nail salon I'm gonna go over there and get my nails done because I haven't had my nails done and I just need a quick little set so I'm just gonna go over there and get my nails done really quickly after that I'm gonna be heading over to Ross home goods and all those type of stores to shop for little decorations for my room and my apartment overall like I said I did order a couch for my living room um, and a few other essentials. Today we'll be going apartment shopping. You guys are gonna come with me to the nail salon. I already did my morning routine. I will have a like in-depth video on my morning routine for you guys coming very soon. I made my bed already. The only thing I didn't do, I'm listening to affirmations right now. Well, I was before I turned on the camera. The bed is made. I'm literally making it a priority to make my bed literally every day without an excuse. Even though yesterday I didn't make my bed, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing left to do right now is head out the door. This is the outfit that I'm wearing today. Something really basic. This whole fit is from H&M and then I have on my gallery department socks with my Yeezy 700s. Just a super simple all black basic fit. It is 97 degrees today in Atlanta so it is hot as a bitch. Next time you guys see me I will be going to the nail salon. If I have anything to update you guys on I will come right back but I will see cuties when I get to the nail salon. Bye. I went a little shorter with my nails because every time I get long nails, I'm always breaking them. Even though these are probably still considered pretty long to a lot of people, but if you know me, I be having the extra long and these these really ain't that long for me personally. But I still wanted to be able to hear the, the click clack. It's just something about the ambiance of hearing that. Just be feeling like that bitch because I am, period. I did plan on going to Ross and all those other um, stores, but the bill that I got for these nails kind of ran me in the house a little bit. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just got outside and I'm already spending like $200. Like, damn, outside is expensive. This is why those past two days, Monday and Tuesday, I was staying my ass in the house because every time I go outside, I'm spending money. So when you stay in the house and you don't go, go outside, there's no reason for you to be spending money. But anyways, not the point. I am actually planning on cooking tonight. So I'm really trying to decide if I want to do shopping early tomorrow morning when there's like nobody in the stores and I can like literally vlog. Because I really 
hate going in like stores. I hate is a strong word. I really don't like going into like stores like that, like Ross and them, because you know those stores we have like a, not like a lot of people like where it's so packed. But you know it's just better if I go early in the morning when it's like nobody there, so I can like really take my time and vlog. I'm like literally about to call the store. Like yo, how cra how crowded are y'all right now? I'm finna look it up because if you go on Google, it can tell you like it can tell you what you gonna call it how busy the store is right now so I'm gonna see what it says because I don't live too far from the Ross like it's literally okay so it says not too busy right now okay so if it's not too busy I could probably head over there it says that it's not too busy right now so I'll probably head over there but tonight I really do want to cook for myself I think I'm gonna make my mom sent me like a TikTok recipe oh look at the time y'all it is 4.44, period. I was planning on cooking. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. So my mom is always on TikTok, like, having a whole bunch of different, like, recipes she's making. She always FaceTiming me, like, oh, look at this recipe that I found on TikTok. I made it. And then the food be looking so good. I'm like, mom, you need to send me some of these recipes so I can start cooking. So she told me to make some, like, stir-fried noodles because I love noodles. I love, 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 love stir-fried noodles from the Chinese restaurant. So she told me to make some stir-fried noodles. She was like, um, she sent me the type of noodles to buy. She said, get broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, cabbage, onions for the seasoning, black pepper, garlic, powdered onion, cayenne pepper, paprika, soy sauce. I don't have paprika. I don't have soy sauce. I think I have cayenne pepper. Can can Kanye, Kanye, however you say it. And what you, she literally sent me a whole steps, like she's the go. And what you do is put the olive oil in the pot first. So we're going to be cooking tonight. So I'm going to take myself to Ross or Home Goods or whatever. It's like a whole plaza. They have like a whole bunch of different type of stuff in the area. So I'm going to head over there. And I just have to come home really quick and just, and take the AC because it's kind of hot. And I'm dressed in all black. So I'm literally absorbing the heat. But I just dropped a new video on YouTube. I was, but my new video that I dropped today, let me show y'all. So it's four o'clock, and today I dropped a new video not too long ago, like 46 minutes ago. It's a chit chat get ready with me of all the tea on my life right now. So if you haven't watched it, go check it out because some tea was spilled, babes. But I'm gonna call you guys as I have a call. Oh my God, bruh. I always be saying this in my vlogs. Like, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna FaceTime you guys when I get back. But I'm gonna call, fuck it, we just gonna rock with it. I'm gonna call you cuties when I get back. Well, not when I get back, but when I go to the Ross. So y'all better pick up the phone or we gonna fight. I'm in Ross right now, but it ain't really talking about nothing. So we're finna head to Walmart. I said Walmart, we're finna head to, ooh, this is so cute. I love stuff like this, but this Ross ain't talk about nothing at all, so I'm gonna go to Marshall's, it's right next door. Okay, y'all. So I'm in Home Goods right now instead of Marshalls, and look how cute this is. And then you could put it like, if I get it like a wine cooler type of holder, I could put this literally right near the wine station. This is so cute. So I put it in my cart right here, just in case I find like a whole bunch of other things that I like here. But this is sixty dollars, and it's so cute. Right now I'm in the kitchen section. Oh wow! It's funny that I turn my head over here because I actually need a little kind of like coffee mug for my coffee in the morning but i don't see any cute ones right here so i'll probably find a good one in marshall's or something but i'm currently in home goods instead of the marshall's because i always go to marshall's and i'm like let me check out home goods and see what other different kind of items they have here
I'm currently in Marshalls. We changed locations. And the only two things I've come here so far is a shower caddy and this little organizer for like the bathroom. I haven't been here in a minute, so they changed the store around. And to be honest, none of these stores have shit. Like nothing that I really want. Nothing essential for my apartment. Just a whole bunch of unnecessary things I don't need. I don't really know which store I'm going to end up going with. But basically, none of these stores have shit. I don't know which store I'm going to end up going with, for real, for real. Because I literally don't see anything that's, like, essential for the apartment right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone with my mom right now, y'all. But I'm trying to figure out if I really, because I could put these like at the side of my bed. To put what on, like? Like at the side of my bed, like for my books, my laptop, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna just buy it. I'm gonna just put it in the thing. Hold on, let me put the phone down so I could put it in there. Oh, it'll be heavy. Oh. This shit is heavy as hell. It's so heavy. I can, I can barely pick it up. I got it. Yeah, pick it up. I got it. I got it. Oh, no, I got it. Woo. You need to get a shopping for Okay, so I got this little storage bin, y'all. I'm trying to see. Look, if I'm going to go furniture shopping right now, how the hell am I going to go food shopping at the same damn time? I'm trying to figure out. Are you just be vlogging for Yeah, real? like what I do throughout the day. Okay, type like shit. Well, mm -hmm. gotta check the channel up, so I'm gonna subscribe. Okay, thank you. Nine. Appreciate well, are you. Are you doing it right now? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. listen, y'all, look. My name is Paul Brown, you heard? You can find me on IG at sig.stepper. We outside, New York's really? finest, you heard? Oh, you from New York? Yeah. Oh, me too. Oh, That's boy. crazy. I'm from the Bronx. Queens, you heard? Okay. Southside, we outside from the Bronx too, you heard? Shout out to little TJ, you know what That's crazy. Back. Everywhere I went did not have anything that I like needed any essentials for my apartment As you guys saw I was in Target and I was gonna buy that like storage thing and those vases But I'm like okay like this I'm just gonna buy these three things Just gonna walk, walk out of here with three things and I told you I wanted to cook today So I was like I'm in Target I might as well just buy all my groceries here So I'm gonna do a grocery haul I have to take my trash don't mind that but we're gonna do a little grocery haul. I even bought a lot of essentials for my coffee. I bought like a cute little, a cute little tumbler to put it in from Starbucks. So I'm gonna show you guys all that. I am missing a few ingredients, which is the no stir, the no the no yolk stir fry noodles. Um, I'm gonna order that from Instacart and like whatever else I need for the recipe to make my stir fry noodles tonight. It's already 8 p.m. I bought me a glass of wine because we're just gonna wind down. Um, I actually have to clean. So there's like a lot I need to do. I'm literally gonna take me a little break. I've been outside all day since around like 2 p.m. It's 8 right now. And your girl just wants to literally sit down for a little bit. I do need to charge my phone. My phone literally was like on like 5% in Target. So. I'm about to just wind down for a little bit, put my camera to charge, and then we're gonna go ahead with the grocery haul. And like, I might clean off camera because I have to let my camera charge. So I will get back to you, cuties, with the grocery haul right after this. 
Hey guys, Hi. it's currently 10 24 p.m. So it's like a good two hours later. So first things first, we got this good and gather flatbread pizza. And this is gonna go in my freezer. And then I have this good and gather mini empanadas filled with creamy blend of corn, cilantro, and spices. Then I got a box of cheeses for, you know, a little snack because I love my snacks. So that's the first bag of everything that I got. I've got, y'all, I've been seeing this, I've seen it on TikTok. So y'all know I, I'm fucking with the coffee now. So I got the caramel so I can be like, yeah. I'm gonna be one of those TikTokers <laughs> making the coffee. I literally love those videos. I just love seeing people make coffee. Like, I used to like, even though I never drank coffee before, I would be like on TikTok, somebody making coffee, that shit has my attention for the whole time. Like, I'm just like, hey, why am I geeking over coffee or caramel? But I got a bag of potatoes so I can make and boil and do all types of stuff with potatoes, mashed potatoes, homemade potatoes, homemade french fries. I said homemade potatoes. I meant to say homemade french fries. But I got some kennel corn for the stir fry. Let me put this in the freezer now because I got me some wine. We're gonna be sipping on wine while we cook. So it's about to be a vibe. So that's in the second bag. Oh, and we got us some onion. I just have some snacks because sometimes the girls are feeling real snacky. I love goldfish. Goldfish and Cheez-Its are my top two favorite snacks. So the next thing I got is these broccoli and cheese veggie tots. I used to eat these all the time back in my day. My aunt put me onto these. But then I got some command hanging things. You guys were telling me about these, the command strips, so I can hang like different pictures. Next I have bags of salad, romaine lettuce mixed with some red cabbage. This is my favorite type of salad to have. Turkey bacon. This is my favorite brand of turkey bacon, Oscar Myers. Really good. Next thing I picked up is some Dr. Teal's. I bought this for like my self-care nights when I want to treat myself to a nice bath and really sit and soak in it. So this is not really like grocery, but you know, you get it. Next thing I got is some baby potatoes. These baby potatoes, how I'll make them is like boil them. The, whole, the bigger potatoes are more for like cutting up like homemade fries. And then the baby potatoes are like if I want to have like boiled potatoes. Next, I got my tumbler. I bought this from Starbucks. The Starbucks inside the Target. If you know like sometimes some Targets, I think mostly all Targets be having Starbucks in them nowadays. But this is a Starbucks cup. Yes, I'm that girl now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely that girl. Look, I got one of these. Period. I have some vegetable oils. Next we have the mixed veggies. And next I bought some mini limes. Next thing I bought, I bought like three of these. This is one of my favorite. This is cheddar broccoli like pasta. This is something quick and instant. In this bag we have the stir fry sauce which we are going to be using today. Some quick and instant macaroni. Look y'all, I got the whipped cream. So this is all the coffee stuff that I bought. Then I bought this vanilla latte. These are all my coffee essentials. I'm so excited to be coffee girl we got some velcro version of the command strips we got some more command strip hanging things next i have some extra virgin olive oil so these are the noodles that i'm going to be using tonight to cook i swear when you go to the supermarket it's like it looks like you bought a whole bunch of shit but when you come back to the house it's like what did i even really buy i don't know so the first step is just to bring some water to a boil. I have to clean out this pot because it's a little dirty. Alright, so we're gonna let the water boil as of right now when the noodles come to a boil and they start to get really soft that's when we're going to start the stir fry with all the vegetables but let's pour us a glass of wine while we wait for the water to boil 
This is literally my only wine glass left because all my other ones broke because I kept putting them in the sink, not knowing that that's what was causing them to break. Yeah, and apparently you're supposed to just leave them on the side so all the other dishes don't crush them, but I was unaware of that. So this is my only wine glass left. But this is my first time trying barefoot pink Moscato. I always see this all the time. I love me some pink Moscato, so hopefully this is good. I'm pretty sure it will be, but cheers. Look, 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 look. So I'm just gonna fill it up to that much. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. It's just the luxury of being home alone and cooking. Girl, I feel like an adult. Oh my God, like, do y'all ever be thinking like, damn, I'm really a grown ass woman. Like, even though I'm still young, I'm 20, but I be thinking like, damn, I'm really 20. Y'all hear my stove? That's just like the excess water in the pot, but cheers to anybody drinking wine with me at home. Mmm, tastes like Sutter Home, it's really good. One thing about me, Oh, I'm going to turn up. <laughs> Not my hair falling. The girlies love them a good wine. Like, it must be a really good day today or I must be in a really good spirit. The fact that I'm even taking time on my day to make my own meal. Let's acknowledge that for a second though. Y'all never see me on here cooking for real. And let me know if you guys want to see more like cooking vlogs and all that type of stuff. Because I will definitely get that out for y'all. so freaking happy this is my first time doing a cooking vlog so i'm really excited about this so our noodles are boiling and we have a lot of vegetables to put in the microwave because these go in the microwave originally but i am as well gonna put them on the pot i'm just gonna like microwave them how the direction says to so we have the cauliflower we have the broccoli and we have our mixed veggies i think that's about it for everything so we have two mixed vegetables i don't think we're gonna need two so i'll leave this in there for the next time i decide i want some stir fry all right so i'm gonna pop these bad boys into this microwave let's do it I literally always test it by breaking it on the side. If it's easy to cut, then that means it's ready. But I feel like this can boil up a little more. And we're still waiting on this. Like, how are we to fuck up? 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, okay. That's pretty hot. It smells like broccoli. It smells like man farts. Never could have known this before. <laughs> but bitch, <laughs> what? they wasn't lying. <laughs> they wasn't lying about cutting up onions. Damn! Damn!
So I feel like if I made a side, it would have came out, you know, much cuter on the plate. It's just only noodles and vegetables on the plate. So it looks kind of boring, but I promise you it's really good. I wouldn't sit here and lie. If I made some nasty shit, I would let y'all know. But I should have put rice as a side. I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like rice and stir fry just go so well together. But I didn't add too much of the stir fry sauce because I didn't want so much of it, but this is what it looks like. We're gonna test taste it, even though I, I low key was digging in the, in the pot before y'all even got here, but we're gonna pretend like it's my first time eating it, but I was really digging in the pot. My mom sent me this recipe because she makes this and I would say I did a pretty pretty good job because it kind of tastes similar to my mom's recipe and exactly how my mom makes it. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I did that even though this kind of wasn't that hard to make because it's simply simple. But I feel like if I would have made a side, it would be much better. And usually when I eat stir fry noodles, I eat it with rice. So that's the kind of side I'm thinking about right now. With some rice, this would actually really go so well. Mm. Please do not mind me in the way I'm eating right now but I'm starving, I haven't ate all day. This is my first meal of the day. Well guys, but I'm so proud of myself. This is my first time cooking in my apartment, I'm not even gonna lie. This is my first time making my own meal in my apartment. And I'm proud of myself. I think the next meal I wanna cook is like rasta pasta. And actually cooking this was so fun. Like I used to be, think of cooking as like a task, but I was actually enjoying it, so I feel like I want to cook a little more often now, especially if I'm trying to do like a series of like cooking vlogs and all that type of shit. If you guys have any like stores in Atlanta that you recommend for me to go like furniture shopping or decor shopping or any websites you guys recommend, drop them down below in the comments because I need help. Decorating a big apartment is definitely harder than decorating a studio apartment. I forgot to add the eggs! That's when I'm like, I'm cooking this, but it's missing something. It's supposed to have egg in it. I'm pricked for that. But man, if this had egg in it, I just feel like it's missing something. Oh my God. That was good. I did an amazing job. I give myself a nine out of 10 because I forgot the eggs. What's good, Double C gang? It's your girl, Double C, and it is currently Thursday, and it's 11.45 p.m. As you guys can see, I have my affirmations playing on the TV right now. This is my morning routine already. Brush my teeth, um, just did everything I need to do, journal, put on an outfit, and now... I trust that I have the strength to make positive changes. where did changes. this come from? My room is a mess. I didn't even make my bed, so, yeah. Usually, I'm always making my bed every morning so i'm trying to make it before i leave the house but i'm literally fiending to make this coffee all right guys so i'm really excited to make this coffee i was so excited that i literally had a whole dream that i made coffee i literally had a dream about making the coffee so i have my caramel caramel right here I have my whipped cream, vanilla latte, and the Reese's iced coffee. My ice maker has not been making any ice. That's not really iced coffee. I froze my wine. Bruh. I don't even have a lot of ice for iced coffee. Okay, it's whatever. It's it's whatever. 
so I'm gonna do exactly how I see people on TikTok do it. <laughs> Is that how y'all do it? I don't fucking know. Ice coffee, okay. Period. Look at my iced coffee, y'all. It's cute. It's cute. Hold on, where's my phone? Because I gotta take a picture. Ah! Yeah, yeah. I did that, okay. Period. Period. It looks so cute. I just dropped it on my white shirt. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Mm. See, now that I made my coffee, I feel much better because I was literally fiending to make this. That was like too fun for no reason, but. Now we really a coffee girl for real for real. We got the tumbler, we got the whipped cream, we got all the ingredients, babes. I know that life's challenges are opportunities in disguise. I find more things to love about the world around me. I feel like one with nature and everything around me. I have an important role in the here and now. I live life with more passion. I spend time alone when I feel the need to reflect on. I invite positive people into my life. Time is 102. I'm about to get your pony. So how did my vlog one? What's up, vlog? It's popping. I'm with him for the day. I'm about to get some Chipotle. The amount of times that I eat Chipotle is fucking ridiculous, bro. I swear. If I had a dollar for every time I fucking ate this shit, I'd be fucking rich. Ooh. Like, I'm addicted to Chipotle. Literally. Hold on, y'all. You know, the camera gotta eat first. I literally get the same thing all the time, so. What is that? Uh, it's like salad dressing. You never knew they had this, didn't you? Yeah, no. Yep. You eating a salad. <laughs> Basically. It's funny though, yeah, it's not too long. So let's go get tatted. Okay. I want a new tattoo. Like, so you wanna get your leg tatted? Yeah. Me too. My whole leg. Me too. Not my whole leg, but like. I'm get my whole leg. 
Hey y'all, we had to make it. I'm always dropping food on my fucking clothes. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we had to make a quick little stop. Starving. Yeah, I was talking about You ate? You ate? Oh, that's your meal. Uh, that would that wouldn't fill me up. I like to eat. Nah, this give me about an hour. Some change, and I eat the hand So what you finna eat today? Mm -hmm. I gotta start eating fried food. I eat that shit a lot. Mm. I get Chick-fil-A. Every day? Yeah, I'm here. If I could. I, would. I used to do that. I used to eat Chick-fil-A literally faithfully. Mm -hmm. But like where I'm at, it ain't nothing around but fast food. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. I don't really cook like that. I was about to say, so start cooking. Oh. Yeah. I need somebody to cook for me. Do a meal prep for the kid. I don't even meal prep for myself. <laughs> and I barely know how to cook. Sorry, guys. Be, I'm learning, though. You be burning shit? No, no, no. I don't burn shit, but I don't. I mean, I say that because that sounds like I burn shit. I just don't cook. Feel me? That girl be burning shit. No. Cap, no. Uh uh. Alright, so I gotta put you to the test, though. Like, so, what we finna make? I like pasta. Pasta, my favorite. What kind of pasta? Shrimp, uh, skin. Ew. But you can make chicken alfredo. So. Chicken alfredo, because yeah, I don't do shrimp. That'll be some rice. No, I bet. I know how to cook for real, though. I know how to cook. I'll try to cook. What you to make? Depending on what you want. Oxtails. All right, now that's one thing I, I'm going to have to ask my mama. Your mom know how to make oxtails? She know how to make everything. Really? It's so fucking hot. It's too hot to be outside. It's too hot to be moving. It's too hot to be doing anything. So what are you about to do, man? What you want to do? Something. Huh? I don't know. Something indoors. I don't know. What is there to do in Atlanta? On the Thursday. You tell me. Sub block. Double C, what you call your um double C game. Double C game. Period. I'm trying to think. You wanna do something fun or you wanna do something chill? I don't really care. Do you wanna be outside? I don't care. You look hot. I am. <laughs> I feel like I'm steaming right now. Wearing jeans in the summertime. Uh -uh. She look high, y'all. Huh? I am. You know, my oldest son is above Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's, aren't you like mad good at bullying? You better cook me. No, I ain't that good. I, I promise I ain't that good. I feel like that's cat. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. That boy had his own bowling ball and everything. That's what you Bowling ball? That sounds mad funny. <laughs> bowling ball. How you know I got that? You don't remember? We went to um, Cumberland. I do remember. I, I told you that. I seen you go get it. Or you said that you had one. Yeah. All right, but I guess we're gonna go bowling. I'm gonna, well, I have nails. So I probably am gonna suck. I was about to say I'm gonna cook you, but I just peeped. I'm like, oh shit, I got nails. I do want to. If I didn't want to, I would have said no. Go to arcade or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go to arcade. Huh? All right, I'm gonna hit y'all up. Later. At Midtown Bowl, I'm going to kick your ass. Sound good. <laughs> I do. Go get back. <laughs> you tell me. My left hand, right? This man trying to go easy. Imagine you go easy on me and I still lose. Well, that'll be hilarious. There we go. I go to my 
lemon pepper steppers. Period. <laughs> Bruh. Look at my shoes. Period. Okay. Okay then. But he's getting the balls for us to go bowling. Am I first? I thought he was coming over here. But it's currently 1.45, y'all. We're about to start bowling. This is not small. It is. This is the smallest one? This is so big. Okay. Because the bigger balls be so like much harder to like even get a freaking score. But we're on lane six right now. Yeah, the nails definitely made it harder. I'm gonna have to roll the ball like this. I'm definitely gonna lose. I'm really gonna lose. What's going on, man? Zero! Yeah, it won't be fun if you make it easy. If you want you wanna see some some pro shit. Alright, not pro, alright? Some pro right, now. Some pro level. Not too much, not too much, not too much. What y'all are doing? That's him. Right, right, right. I made it. Alright, y'all. 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 Alright, Oh Lord, what that stance here? <laughs> Strike every time. Damn. Such high standards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> you wanna look at the score though? You're definitely beating me though. Duh. Eight to ten. You're only two points ahead. For real. Down the line. That was too easy. Not him vlogging and bowling at the same time. You miss. This our score. I was winning, but now I'm losing. So it's time to get my head in the game. If this would change, so I can show y'all the fucking score. Hello, Juan has 48 and I have 41. I was ahead of him though. Okay then. Oh, not him getting a strike with the camera in his hand. Wow. It's looking like I'm finna lose. I can teach you how to do this shit though. You finna teach me how to bowl? Yeah, I'm talking about to curve it and all that type of thing. How you curve it? Yeah, ready for it. Yeah, I was about to say that. Here, hold this. My camera's gonna die in a few. Man, what's up, bro? Damn, Tight. I was just lock in for a tweak out. No, that ass. Lock in for a tweak out. I was just doing so good. Man, I'm not speaking no Spanish. Let's do it. Yeah. Bro. Chanel. What's going on, bro? You not trying to win. I, mean, I was. I was doing so good. I'm trying to let you win and shit. Alright. Nah, you really doing that on your own, though. I really suck, for real. Right. Cap. I do. Oh, God. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I'm finna get a strike. I'm finna get a strike with y'all in my hand. What you call your game? Double C game. Double C game. Yeah. Hey, Pin! Wow. I think the floor would be at this point. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm going to stop going so hard. Right? That's okay. I'm not a sore loser. I give credit where it's due. 
It's his turn again. He has 76 to 41. How the fuck am I gonna win? We just finished bowling. It's currently 2.20 p.m. And um, Juan wiped the floor with my ass. At least you're clean, huh? <laughs> what was the score? 103 to like 54? You had 100. No, you had 100. I had 54. Stop the cap. Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! I had 54, you had 103. Hey, don't worry though, vlog. She gonna learn how. She gonna be wiping the floor with everybody else. Period. But I was doing good at first, but these fucking nails, that's the only reason why I didn't wipe the floor with his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can beat me at something else. What could I beat you at? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm competitive with everything I do, I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Trying to think of something else. So you fire. Oh, so we gotta go top golf. Yeah. I'm competitive at that shit too. All right, but my camera's dying, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later. We're at a pole dancing class. Me either. No, it said heels were optional though. What time is it? Yeah, I'm finna my socks on my feet. It's 6:40. I'm excited. Not us taking a pole dancing class. You taking off your socks? So, that is what we call, I like to give it a post it remix, okay? Because you add in one little thing, like a feature on the song, to try to make it look a little better. Like anytime Mickey on the track, it's going to slap. Period, okay? So, since y'all eating this up, I'm going to step it up a notch, okay? So, the next thing we're going to do is one of my favorites, it's called a hook spin, okay? So, it's the same thing as a pole sit, but you just hook in one leg. So, we're gonna do the hook spin, then we're gonna do an outside hook spin. Okay, it sounds like a lot, y'all gonna be like, bitch, don't kill me. Okay, but this is what a hook spin looks like. I'm doing the same exact thing, but I'm just hooking one leg, put it, the pole right behind it, bring it the other knee up to kiss. This is what a hook spin looks like. Have the foot go parallel. Swing this leg, but still hook it behind the knee inside the pole. So if it's too, too much, then you want to have on, but you don't want it too, too tight to where you don't move. You just want it enough to where it feels secure again, right? The same vibes with my left, here. You have to take this leg around it and put it on top. Yeah. So, the last shit that we're gonna learn is a pin up and then I'm gonna teach y'all a challenge one, okay? The challenge one is a little challenge, but it's not gonna be in the routine. It's just a little challenge to let you fly. Oh, but at least I tried halfway to get that, okay? So, the pin up is one of my favorites. I love it. So, I'm just gonna show you. That's exactly what it looks like, okay? So, you know when you'll see kids try when they on the, not really the pole, but like the playground. Yeah. So it's basically like that, like it's real childish, but it's still so cute. So all I'm doing is I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm stepping, having my foot go parallel. But instead of hooking or keeping my leg through, I turn to do a pirouette, have, it's a dent in your knee, that's where the pole should be, right? So all I'm doing is my left hand is still in front of my face, the right hand is here. So all you wanna do is you wanna just stand up onto the pole. So as you stand up, you just wanna slide this knee down, and as the knee slides down, you want to be like this. Then the pole, the knee should go like that on the pole. So it starts up high, but as you get on top of it, it slides down. Okay? Mm -hmm. You got to force and try to thrust your hips forward so that all of this upper body is on the pole, and then your the legs are just off. Okay? So if you want, we can try, not try, we can do this little exercise that I like to do. Yes, we can. Um, the easiest way that I also like to teach is when I break it down, is to like have you face one way. Can y'all see me? I know it looks weird. But I like to teach you standing still first, and then we have to stand, but then you can just see how it feels to just stand up on top of yourself. So you can either, with this, you can put your hands a little higher so that when you grab, it'll be like you're just trying to hold on to something. Okay? So all of this should be on except for 
the leg should be off. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like, right? This is what you be doing on like the next level, but I like to get you into introducing it to you guys, okay? So it's gonna look like you fold it up like a crosser because you are. Let's get to it, okay? So you wanna take the inside hand up. You're gonna step in front of the pole. You're gonna grab the bottom. Your body should make kind of like a like a look. Like a little curve. So as you do it, you want to take this left leg and you're going to hook it behind. So the way you spin is you're just going to lean to the left and kick the leg up. Mm -hmm. So you'll just put this back thing behind it. Yeah. And then as you as you lean, you go out like that. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Yeah.